They've won eight of their last ten. Obviously, that is Kevin Durant with Monica Minot, uh, not James Harden. But, I mean... What, how did you figure it out? Was it the height or the beard? I think the the one beard is thicker than the other. Okay. Yeah, I know. think that's yeah. what gave it away. Boy, that boy's smart. Isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> but it, it seems as if these two just have it all figured out, Harden and Durant right now in the way that they're playing. Let's call it what it is, guys. When, when those two guys are healthy and they're able to attack the defense, and Sam knows this as a coach. There's nothing you can really do. You just hope that you can get the ball out of their hands or they're not shooting the ball particularly well that night. And then now both guys, well, I'll speak more on a KD. KD is giving you more effort every night on the defensive end, Sam, rebounding the basketball. James, I love you, Dev, but you only have some flashes. But that guy right there has proven to us now since he left Golden State, he plays both ends of the floor. And I think that's why when he's on the floor, the Nets have a good chance of winning, Sam. People are falling asleep that the rest of this roster is pretty good. Mm -hmm. right? Everybody, everything starts and ends with James Harden and Kevin Durant. But if you just go double those guys to get the ball in their hand, they're willing passes. Right. Look at Kevin Durant. He's efficient. Think about this. I can't remember the last time Kevin Durant took 30 shots in the NBA game. Mm. Maybe 25. Mm. Mm. He just doesn't. He doesn't force anything. He takes what the defense gives him. But every time, he reminds me of Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds got one decent pitch to hit at bat every time. He had to be patient and wait on it. Kevin Durant understands he's only going to get so many good looks a game. And when he gets them, he knocks them down. And other than that, to 3D point, he's playing defense. He's moving the ball. He's doing a lot of other things. And this Brooklyn team, it's three good teams in the NBA right now, three top teams, two in the Western Conference and one in the East. And Brooklyn is starting to do what Golden State mm -hmm. and Phoenix done. They're starting to slowly separate themselves from everybody East because as much as we like Miami, Miami got rocked tonight in Minnesota. And good teams, you can lose the game, mm -hmm. but you don't get beat like that. Look at Phoenix and Golden mm -hmm. State. Golden State having a tough one tonight thus far, but you don't lose games like that when you're a championship caliber team. Yeah.